To begin creating courses in Adobe Learning Manager, you'll first need to be logged in as an author. Once you're logged in, you can click on Create Courses from the home screen or navigate to the left-hand navigation and choose Courses. This will take you to the course catalog where you can start a new course by going up to the top right-hand corner and choosing Add. Once you're on the course creation screen, you can give your course a name, and then you can also give it a brief description and a detailed overview. Remember, the brief description is limited to 140 characters and the detailed overview is limited to 8,000 characters. Let's go ahead and add those now. Once we've added our description and our overview, we can also specify a target audience if we wish, or we can simply start adding content to our course. When it comes to adding content to the course, you have three options content, pre-work, and test outs. Content modules are the core of your courses. These should contain the bulk of your instruction that you'd like the learners to complete during the course. Pre-work helps learners prepare for the course and ideally, it's taken before they begin working on the actual modules of the course. Test outs allow your learners to check their knowledge before taking the full course by going through a quick exam. If they pass that exam, they can skip this course altogether. Let's go ahead and start adding some modules to our content section of this course. I'll go underneath content and choose the link labeled add modules. On the select module type screen here, you have four choices to choose from. Self-paced module, which is good for letting people learn at their own pace. It's also great for videos or pre-recorded classroom lectures, etc. You can have virtual classroom modules where learners are required to attend live online lectures facilitated by a trained instructor. You can have classroom modules where learners are required to attend in-person lectures facilitated by you or someone else. And finally, you have an activity module where learners need to complete a set of activities like workshops, exercises, or questionnaires and any other online learning activities. For this, we're just gonna choose self-paced module because we have a series of videos that go in this course and this is the proper module for that type of content. So I'll choose self-paced module. Then inside of the self-paced module dialog box here, I can begin searching for the content that I'm looking for. Luckily, I've been tagging content as I've been adding it to my content library, so it's gonna be very easy to find this. Since this is my new manager orientation course, I'm just gonna type out new manager. Once I do that, it's gonna find content that's tagged with that tag, and here it is, all lined up for me. I can go ahead and add these one at a time, or I can do it in bulk. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is just choose all of the video modules that go in this course. Once I've selected those video modules, I'm just going to hit add. That's going to automatically add those to my content section of my course. Now I can rearrange these by clicking and dragging them up and down if I want to change the order. But for now, I think this is in a good place. So I'm just going to scroll down. I also added a PDF that I'd like for my learners to read before they take the course. So in the pre-work section, I'm going to choose add modules, self-paced module, and I'm gonna find that company values PDF. And I'm just gonna select it and hit add. And that's gonna add that as a piece of pre-work that they should read before starting the course so that they can become more familiar with the core values of the company. Finally, for a test out, I'm gonna hit add module. And in this case, we'll hit self-paced. We'll find the new manager orientation quiz and we'll hit add. That way, they can take this new manager orientation quiz. If they pass with the required score that I've already set up, then they can skip this altogether. At the bottom here, we can choose the sequencing of modules, either ordered or unordered. In this case, I'm gonna choose ordered. I want them to go through it piece by piece as I've set it up. Then mandatory modules, we're gonna say all modules in this course are required. And then the final piece of the puzzle is the cover image and banner image. I've got a couple of images already selected, so I'll just bring those up here. In my course images folder, I have a course thumbnail and a course banner. So I'm just gonna choose the course thumbnail here, and then the course banner here. Once I do that, we'll scroll up to the top and we'll hit save. That's then going to process all of this information and it's gonna save it to my Adobe Learning Manager instance. 
Once all that information is saved, you'll be brought here to the course settings screen where you can begin adding more information about your course. First, let's start off with course skills. For this particular course, the only skill that really applies is our new manager skill. So I'll just go ahead and add that there. You can also assign a skill level and a number of credits if you like. You can add a maximum amount of credits by limiting it by checking that box as well. Then you can also add a course author. Then you'll choose your enrollment type. Underneath this, you have three options, manager nominated, manager approved, or self-enrolled. Manager nominated means only managers can nominate people to be enrolled in these courses. A learner cannot enroll in these types of courses without the manager nominating them first. Manager approved means managers must approve these courses. Learners can sign up for the courses, but they're not allowed to enroll directly to these types of courses without their manager's approval. A notification is sent to the manager when the learner signs up for these types of courses, and upon manager approval, the courses are then listed as enrolled for those learners. And finally, self-enrolled. Self-enrolled means learners can directly enroll themselves in these courses anytime they want. For this particular course, since this is a new manager course, we're going to say that our manager must nominate us for this because maybe we haven't been promoted to manager status yet, so we'll leave it like that. Unenrollment. Do you want learners to be able to unenroll themselves from this course? In this case, no. As we scroll down the page here, we'll see some more settings like instance configuration. If you enable this option, that means if you have multiple instances of this course, maybe a newer versions come out or something like that, and learners are currently in progress with this version of the course, they can actually visit that new instance and enroll there and retain their progress from the previous instance of the course. After publishing the course, if you come back to these settings on this page, this option is no longer going to be editable, so just remember that. You can enable this option for self-paced courses, classroom courses, activities, and also blended experiences. It should be noted that instance switching is not supported for paid courses or manager-nominated courses. As you can see here, these are grayed out. I can't select them since we chose this to be a manager-nominated course. However, if I switch this back to a self-enrollment course, you'll notice the options are available for me to turn on and off. But since I want this to be a manager-nominated course, I'll go ahead and set that back, and then those options are then taken away. Down here at the bottom, we have prerequisites. So if there are any courses that are required prior to taking this course, you can add those here, as well as job aids. And then finally, down here, we have tags. Now you'll notice this is auto-populated with tags. Why? because a lot of those tags are coming from the content and other things that we've already tagged throughout the course, including the quiz. So all of that is being picked up here. You can add additional tags here by typing them in and searching your database, or simply by typing something out and then pressing enter or return and adding a brand new tag to the system. Finally, at the bottom, we have the area where you can add native extensions. We have a resources section where you can add additional materials such as reading resources, maybe supplemental video or audio files that might be relevant to this course. And then at the very bottom, we have the player controls. So inside of Adobe Learning Manager, the Fluidic Player, we have lots of different options that you can choose to hide or show based on your preference. For instance, you can turn the table of contents on and off. You can have course notes on or off, show the speed and quality, captions, volume, etc. This is all up to you. For this particular course though, we're gonna leave all of this turned on so that our learner has the full gamut of features inside of the player. Once we've completed setting up all these options, we can just tap here to scroll back to the top and we'll hit save to save all of this information and we should get a confirmation saying our course has been saved successfully. Now from here, everything's been set up, it's all ready to go. You can also set up email templates for this course, but just for the sake of demonstration, let's go ahead and just preview this course as a learner. So here we have the new manager orientation course. You can see there's my banner at the top. You can see all of the information, including my author over here on the right. You have your pre-work, which includes the PDF. You have all of your course modules listed here. And then of course you have your test out, which will allow you to test out of this course, should you know the answers to all of those questions. And that's it. That's how easy it is to create a new course in Adobe Learning Manager.